Alright. Well, we're gonna continue this tonight. I gotta decide where I'm going. Uh, I mean, there's little rifts that I should probably go check out first. Before going to the major areas. Let's try you out. How do they do? They do okay. I get the feeling this one should have been done earlier because there's only four of them. So, I mean, let me just get through this. Oh, yeah, no, this is like level one stuff. This is going to be a cakewalk, most likely. Um, where are my pigs? Here they are. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. I was gonna drag it down. But yeah, I mean, it'll, whoop, it'll level up my abilities. That's probably why when I got to the last area, I didn't have enough power to summon the new stuff. Yeah, good. Good analog stick. I guess I gotta do the same in the desert. <laughs> okay. Individually, they're not very useful, but as a collective, they're pretty good.
Acá. That should bring it up to the next level. That was the missing little piece of it. Okay. Wait, I can do two P-hats now. That, that's actually a huge deal. I guess it also adds this new area here, too. Ah, stupid snake. Just let me climb. Disappointed. I thought that'd be something else. was probably the opening cave. Which I guess I haven't been back since. I'm still amazed you can do all this. out there's something here that's just leading to baron oh stamp down that I don't know if I have enough money for the next accessory thing. Probably not. I'm gonna go deal with this other rift.
<laughs> it's, it's even less. Um. Have fun. in style. how unnecessary it feels. It's a lot of fun to do that. Probably not enough to level up, yeah. I mean, maybe between the other rifts it should be enough to level up again. I kind of realize that these rift things are very similar to the functionality of shrines. It's like a little little sandbox environment where you just have to solve the problem. Okay, I did end up getting that. Uh, I guess this is clear. There's one over here. I think I'm more or less up to date. Oh, 
<laughs> Damn it, I got too greedy. It launched it on an angle. I was trying not to launch it on an angle. Oh, what is that? Why? Angle. How am I doing that? There we go. Again, this one should have been done sooner. Hang on, I'm gonna... Ah, <sighs> oh, come on, how? How did it target the one behind me? It'll let me get, I don't know, like six of them or seven. The more of them there are, the, the more useful they are. Save me, pig friends. Okay. 
guess, go to the village first. Oh, wait, there's an entrance? Ah, here it is. Guess going here first. <laughs> oh, they're losing. How are they? How are they losing? idea. Nope, it worked. <laughs> I don't know if I have these things. I don't, okay. Weird one. Alright, got it. I wonder if I got rid of the other part of it. Hmm. 
Oh, Burbuck. Hi. Uh, hello, Traveler. How nice of you to visit here. Ah. We're lucky to host many travelers passing by, so I got to hear all sorts of rumors of the wide world. Heard all sorts of rumors. Eggs, smoothies, great fairy. Oh. oh, yeah. No, it's that thing. Okay. Never mind. Oh. All right. Ah. I don't know, I was expecting something else from this. It's all right. Oh. What about here? Come on, this is like classic. Better? Why? Stuffed toy echo. Interesting. It looks like it distracts the ghost, though. Huh. That's so weird. Why? Why would it do that? Then what, I just sick a pig on them? While they're distracted? Huh. Alright then. Does this work? I can't sh shoot a ghost, I don't think. Oh, they went through the wall. Ah, okay. Oh, so those rooms, man, there were rooms that I was trying to figure out how to get to and there was no answer. The ghost was the answer. Wait, does this work? And then just go three pig warriors? I'm not having fun. Yep. 
that's probably already a single summon, right? Oh, not quite, but I can get a couple of them. Oh, there's one in Jubble Waters as well. So weird how it's selective here where it works. I don't understand why. Hey rookie, thanks for popping in. Purple as well. There we go. Alright. Cool. This one might be a bit trickier. Oh. Can this thing actually hit me? Haha, <laughs> baited. See if I can do this. <laughs> I feel like I've gone to the top. Oh no, this is like definitely working in reverse. There's probably something in the though. Maybe not, hmm. Alright. Let's go in. Wait, what? Oh. This is different. Oh, this is trippy. <laughs> Don't think I should have done that. Uh-oh. No, this, that was a bad idea.
as fun as that was, that was not a good idea. So weird. You know, um, what are you doing? <laughs> I think I definitely did this in a weird order. Okay. Should be it. Apparently there's like a little area here I haven't been to. That's it, huh? Ooh, I didn't think I have you. That's the tier two version of these.
Let's definitely tank, y'all. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got stuck. Ah, oh, I can only have one. I'm not sure that's useful as having five of the other ones. Everything there is to do here now. Oh, hold on. I wonder if this requires a bigger explosion. Didn't find anything. Okay, I've walked past so much stuff. Hey, that was the last one of that. Whoa! Time for another reward. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's actually something useful this time. I'm not reading it because it's usually the same text at this point. <laughs> All right. suspicious about these trees like they have something um i guess we're good to go here
Uh, Princess Zelda, hello. I'm here on the king's orders to help look into the rifts. The villagers say that rifts have appeared on Elden Volcano and up in Goron City. Apparently the Gorons haven't been spared in all of this either. The Gorons have always been good neighbors. We're pretty worried about them. They got a new leader recently, but that's all we've heard. We don't know how to help them. We'd love to help them with the rift, but we're not cut out for the terrain and monsters up there. That does appear to be all we know, your highness. The Gorons will probably tell us about the large rift. Wait, what's this? Where could that little scamp have gotten off to? Oh, excuse me, miss. Would you mind listening to an old man's tale of heartbreak? You see, I can't find my cat anywhere. She's often with other cats in town. I wish I had a way to ask them if they had seen her. If only I had a suit of cat clothes for moments like this. What? Cat clothes? Oh, they're magical outfits that let you understand cat speech. There was a set at the shop here in the village, but someone snapped them up before I could. It was that young lady that's usually in front of the shop there. I can't exactly borrow an outfit she just bought, can I? What to do, what to do, what to do. What do you mean? Like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> that outfit. Mm -hmm. Yes, I just bought a suit of cat clothes. I mean, they let you talk to cats. How could I not buy them on the spot? What I plain forgot is that any time I get close to a cat, I bust out sneezing. It's a real shame. I just bought them and I'll have to put them right into storage. Mm. Oh, you're looking for some cat clothes, huh? Well... Mm. Can I ask you a favor? If you do it, I'll just give you the cat clothes. Okay. Look over there, you see that cat? There's something important to me buried right where that cat is sitting. Would you mind digging it up for me? The cat refuses to move. If I get too close, I'll be sneezing all over the place. I was about to give up. Maybe you could lure it away with something it likes. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Can I just drag it away? Well, I mean, I have the answer either way. Where is it? Good old fish. Come here. Look. <laughs> Eight more hours till freedom, that's a long time. We'll get there. You dug up my secret stash. You're a hero, as promised. Let me give you these clothes for it. I buried it because I kept buying impulsively, but once I couldn't dig it up, I was in trouble. Anyway, I'm done denying my impulses now. Thanks so much. Okay. 
It's an odd getup that lets you speak with cats. <laughs> like, weird. And now we're going to give it to an old man that wants to dress up as a cat. It's not like we're using it. Like, this plot isn't for me. Hello again. Did you have something to say? Oh, you got the cat clothes? Okay. Hmm. Searching the whole village for cats to talk to sounds pretty daunting at my age. Yeah, no kidding. Sorry to ask, but would you use those clothes to see what the village cats have to say? Okay. I'm sure one of those rascals knows where my little friend is. Then, oops. Wrong button. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't imagine getting up at 6am. <laughs> I haven't done that in a very long time. At least, not for work. Yeah, I guess very mode engaged. Where are these so-called cats? Oh, there's one. Apparently, I'm not allowed to talk at it either. Need something, hun? Searching for a cat. The old man's friend just saw her. She found a nice tree by the road from the east entrance to the village and climbed up for a nap. She takes long naps, so I'm sure she's still there. Okay. Well, that's easy. Somewhere around here. You miss snaps, what, you're not allowed to have them anymore? Or just no time? From time to time, if I'm tired, I'll have one. The road leading east. Oh, it's... Hang on. I see. It's not here. Kids don't let you take snaps. That's not true. My mom had plenty of naps with me and my brothers around. Same with my dad. The key is, you get one of them to be the responsible one. And keep the others in check. See this cat. Yep. 
I see this though. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, I'm blind, it's here. Hmm? I was asleep, what's going on? Oh, my person friend is looking for me. I guess I've been sleeping here a long time. Hungry too, guess I'll head home for a snack. Alright, cool. I mean, usually when my dad wanted to take a nap, he'd go to my mom, hey, I want to take a nap, and vice versa. But, like, one of them would look out for us, whilst the other rested. Or sometimes both of them would be like to me, hey, take care of the other three. <laughs> we, we need a break. You helped her home, didn't you? Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Okay. Did I see the alarm clock? I, I did. For a kid, it would be a lot of fun, but I can see as a parent getting really annoyed at it. Because <laughs> it's just... Especially how they described it, how like if the child or the person using it doesn't get up, it just gets louder and louder until you get up. And I can see that getting really annoying. If you're, you're a parent, and your kid is getting up at like 7 in the morning, and then this thing's going off in the other room that's getting louder and louder. It also doesn't work if there's multiple people around. Because it works off motion sensing, so if, there's, if it's aimed in an angle where there's two people, it, it doesn't work. So it's not very useful if, like, siblings are sharing bedrooms. Or if, for some reason, you know... You're in bed with your partner and you want to have an alarmo, <laughs> you won't be able to do that. Yeah, it's in the, um. It's like on the site for it, it has information about it and it says it, it doesn't work with multiple people because it uses motion sensing. Makes sense, why not? It's just specific for one person. Just really random of all the things. An, al an alarm clock. Christmas is coming. Like, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Even, even if it was a, um, I guess something as... I don't even think it's cool. It's, it's just an alarm clock. Like, I don't know. If I was a kid, I wouldn't be like, wow, the Nintendo Alamo. But at the end of the day, it's an alarm clock, man. I don't know how much a child can get excited over it, um, after the initial, you know, oh, it's a Nintendo thing. Yeah, 
I can also see it going kind of sour. It's like, imagine you're a kid and you want a Switch for Christmas. Christmas Day comes and you're excited. There's a box for you. You, op you open the box and as you're ripping the paper, you see the Nintendo logo and you get super excited. You're like, oh my God, they got me a Switch. Only to find out it's an Alamo. <laughs> The boxes would be of different sizes, but, you know, I, I like to imagine that scenario happening is like some kid getting excited for a switch and then they open the present completely and it's an alarm clock. I'm sure it'll sell. I just, I just think it's... It's a little strange. But they're getting into everything. I mean, they got Lego now, and... I mean, what, there was the Labo thing. They have the remote control. Uh, Mario Kart thing. Uh oh, I'm stuck. They've always done weird little things on the side, like Pokemon had those, um... Like, Tamagotchi-like things. Every now and then they do some weird little thing. I didn't have Tamagotchi, had Digimon, which is pretty similar. They just don't attack quick enough. Now what we used to do, because there was a, um... When you first got them, there was a little plastic tab that was inside of them that, um... It acted as, I don't know... A, a way to have them turned off, basically. And then you would pull out the tab and the thing would come to life. But what me and my brother learned was that if you were to cut a little strip of plastic and stick it into that slot and pull it out and do that, like, quickly, repeatedly, um, doing a fast reset on it, sometimes it would glitch the, Tam or the Digimon and it would give you a fully grown one sometimes, or, like, a glitch one. Some of them often died within the first few minutes of you having them, but then there were others that, like, ended ended up surviving, but they were in a glitch state. It was pretty cool. I don't know why I thought that would work. I mean, that was a cool thing we used to do. Uh, you wouldn't have thought of doing that as a kid. Uh, yeah, I don't, I honestly don't know. It's, I guess that was the thing. We were always trying to bend the rules or do things like that. I honestly blame Zelda 1 for it, because that was like, I think, the very first time we just kept making up random rules for stuff, or just trying to find creative ways of doing stuff. The same thing, but in a different way. I just love sending them flying. Alright. Uh, 
this really feels like I'm playing a necromancer class. It's, it's pretty fun. Oh. I kind of made it harder on myself. Before I continue, I think I can get another upgrade. Hey, Laura, how's it going? Well, not many costumes are up. I'll just get energy. I have not used the bow once. Other than when I had to. Just keep climbing, Elden. Hmm. I don't know if I should bother looking here. I guess there is a rift entry there. Way. Oh, new summon. I mean, these ones probably won't attack. Crap, I didn't know this was up here. That was a complete accident, but it worked. Honestly, my favorite thing to do right now is just the bed thing. Went too far. Fine. That's <laughs> aim. There we go.
Okay, nearly there. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Zelda, do you think this is one of the Gorons? Hi. A Hylian. Oh, uh, welcome to Goron City. But this is no time for hellos. Oh, oh, oh. A rift sprung up and a bunch of my friends fell in. Hmm. And on top of that, Darston fell in after. Huh? He shouted that he'd save our friends, but he got too close and the rift swallowed him up. Oh, right, Darston, and you just became chief. What? Wait, you say you can fix this? Ooh. Then maybe you can save my friends. Hurry, follow me. Oh. Thanks so much for helping us. This is the rift that swallowed Chief J Darston and our friends. That's another kid. Please do something, anything. We already tried everything we could think of. Just r again raises the question is like how Gorons are born exactly. That was, uh, that was certainly a conversation. <laughs> Last time it was brought up. I can't remember if it was in Ocarina of Time or Majora's, but, like, the question was raised, like, wait, how do Gorons actually have kids? And then someone kind of brought up the point that, like, well, at least the character models in that game, the, the Gorons had nipples, which, you know, implies a certain thing from a functionality point of view. Anyway. <laughs> Just wanted to ruin the Gorons again for, for anyone watching this later. Guys, please. The problem is they're just too slow. to get it. people are doing really insane things for speedrunning this game, like in terms of moving around. I haven't watched one myself, but uh, once I'm done, I'm gonna definitely look into it. Because if, if I'm doing the bed thing, like, man, there's gotta be even crazier things you can do with the physics in this game. Oh, this is like a throwback. Mm. 
It's that thing that you had to randomly throw the bomb into. Let's try this. Cause these will do multiple, no? Okay, nah, the fish is better. For some reason, this is giving me Super Mario Brothers 2 vibes. Just the tunneling aspect. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I forgot to point out that like um I've been able to up the stream quality. I'm not sure if it if it's affecting the viewing experience, but I did up the bitrate by like a couple thousand. Cause now I have an even better internet connection than before. It's a pretty amusing story. So, if you don't know me in real life, or have known me for a long time, I tend to have chaotic luck. It can be very good, or it can be very bad. And sometimes when it is on the side of very good, it's like people get annoyed at me. So this is something of very good luck. I moved into this apartment about a year ago. And so, when I moved in, they did a water connection transfer thing from the old place, as they usually do, if you're not familiar with it. Like, you gotta just, yeah, get water, utility bills. Anyway, I did that, got the first water bill, and didn't really think anything of it. But it turns out for the past year, I haven't been getting water bills. I did not notice. I got this letter saying that I hadn't paid my water bills in, like, a year. So I was worried. I was like, shit. That, that's not good. How did I forget? But then, on page two of the letter, it's like, yeah, we had a problem with our billing system. So, because it was not your fault, we are waiving what you had to pay for the last year in terms of water bills. So I got free water for a year, and then today, um, they launched new plans for my internet provider. And so that money that I saved on those water bills, I just put it towards a better connection. So pretty much my water provider has paid for my internet upgrade. And on top of that, I ordered a pizza today after work. And um, they messed it up and gave me a free pizza. So I got free, a free dinner as well. It has been a pretty good day. <laughs> What's your name? Princess Zelda of Hyrule, really? A pleasure to meet you, wow. I'm Darson, the um, recently appointed chief of the Gorons. And uh, who's your floaty friend? I'm Tri. Tri, huh? Nice to meet you too. Wait, what? That's Papa. <laughs> Free food and water. Yeah, can't go wrong, right? Huh? Wait a sec, I don't see Elder Gull or Elder Sylve either. What? Hang on, Elder Gull said he was gonna stop by the quarry for some rock roast. Oh, the rock roasts again. Yeah, and Elder Sylve told me something that seemed off at the Lizalfo's burrow, so he went to check. Chief, what do we do? We gotta find them. Uh, give me a second to think. Can't just search randomly, gotta do something though. Better check the slate again. Mm. Chief, everything okay? Ooh. Oh yes, here we go. Um, listen everyone. I'm gonna go find our friends. Myself. So, you all should, uh, wait here. Huh? Nuggets of Wisdom number 32. Don't stop when it's go time. Uh. 
He's gone, just like that. What'd he say about nuggets of wisdom? Is he okay? Dustin sure seems different from the leaders of the Gerudo and Zora, huh? Wonder where he went. He's following a book. But yeah, the, the connection now, um... So my download hasn't changed, but my upload is now ten times what it used to be. <laughs> Which is... It's just insane. It's great, because I went to upload... Um, a VOD earlier, and instead of it taking an hour and something, it took, like, 15 minutes. So, I was very happy. And I can keep doing other stuff whilst that's going. And now, even when I'm streaming, like, I could upload a VOD as I'm streaming, which is pretty good. My big bro got swallowed up into a rift. So sure I'm glad he made it back in one play. Peace. I've said this before, there is not a chance that I'm giving up the internet connection I've had for the last few years. It's just... Yeah. I, I tried it once, never again. <laughs> it's not... You can't downgrade an internet connection. You really, really feel it. Mind you, the time that I did try it, it was because... It was a little more extreme of a change. But nevertheless, it was horrible. Oh, hi again. Dustin, what's on your slate there? Oh, it's Doran Chief's 56 Nuggets of Wisdom. They're 56 mottos my father left to me. I kind of rely on them. Is this going to be a case where there's actually 56 mottos? It's all his advice about how a Goron chief should lead. Without it, I couldn't even sleep at night. Is there anything else you'd like to know about my slate? My father was the previous chief. He's not here anymore. Okay. Even with Dad's instructions, I'm still me. I know I should act more confident now that I'm chief. We've been going around mending rifts. We're looking for a big one nearby. Do you know where it might be? Uh. The biggest rift is at the crater, but you can't get close because of all the poison gas on the way. Oh. Wait, I once heard there's a shortcut to the crater somewhere. A shortcut? That's promising. Uh. I don't know the details, but Elders of... Oh, Elders Gull and Sylv might. Hmm. Problem is they're both missing. Oh, what should we do? Oh. Hang on a sec. Could you two maybe help me look for everyone who's still missing? I know I'm chief, but I don't think I can do this by myself. There's a lot of ground to cover. So the elders were supposedly headed to the Rock Roast Quarry in the northwest and the Lazalfal Sparrow to the north. Okay. He's doing the thing again. Yeah. Alright. Yep. Onwards. Oh. What is that sound? Oh, they're like. La oh, the lava octorox. Twilus? You know what? I never knew that that's what they were called. I know of the Talus, the big one. Didn't know they were called Twilus. Wait, rock can't survive lava? Really? Okay, um, just one problem. How am I gonna get this? Yep. 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 
Okay, hang on. Well, clearly for this. <laughs> That's the solution. And for this, I... Um... Okay. For this one, we get a bird. And then follow the bird. Uh-oh. Bird. Damn it. I'm trying to grab it. Got it. I <laughs> don't care. Okay. I just wanted to grab it, that's all, learn it. Didn't care how. The bird got in the way. Hold on. Another thing I can get. It depends if there's a hard wall here or not. Oh, boom. <laughs> I get the feeling I might not be able to grab it, but let's see. I need to deal with these things first. the same as oh it is yeah it heals okay <laughs> don't step in that Ugh, I'm here what's going on what happened to them Who's that, Dustin? Is that you? Elder Sylve, what are you doing here? We've been so worried. I heard there were these new kind of... Oh wait, Dark Lizalfos about. So we came to have a look. We were gonna get rid of them, but they were real tough cookies. We had to retreat. So we're waiting in our best defensive position in case they attack. Maybe you should have just headed back? Though... I've never heard of Dark Lizalfos before. A new species, or a sudden evolution, but what would have caused it? Hmm. Everyone would feel safer if we got rid of these new Lizalfos, but I'm no hunter. Maybe there's a nugget of wisdom for this, um... There he goes again. But, unknown dark creatures, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Zelda? having so much fun with, like, this 
sort of necromancer thing. The pigmancer. Ooh, these ones are tough. Come on, guys. Alright. We're doing the new one. Double P hat. This is not going well. Okay, what what can I do? This one's not bad either. The battle music started and the dog started barking. <laughs> dog knows what's up. You took care of them already? That was fast. They're not dark though, but I got a strange feeling there's more up ahead. Mm. Might be dangerous, but I can't keep relying on other people's help. Uh. Zelda, you've done so much. Let me go first from here on in. You can't lead from the back. <laughs> You're right, you can't lead to back, but sometimes you need to follow before you can lead. Yeah. How's that for wisdom? Yep. There's something I, I kind of want to try. Um, where is it? But no, hang on. I want it. Hold on. I've been wanting to try this this thing specifically, so. Okay, bear with me. This is gonna take like a little bit of setup, but I think it's gonna be f worth it. Okay, so that's stuck there. Now what we want. Okay, now we get rid of this. <laughs> go! Go, go, go! <laughs> it's a moving sentry. Ah! If, if they were airborne, it would have worked. How? Oh, it's dead. I'm sure there's a way I can make that useful. So the look. Those must be the Dark Lizalfos that Elder Sylve saw. They haven't noticed us. Can we sneak attack them somehow? It's probably safer than attacking them head on. Maybe the Slate has some advice for this. Don't look down, look up. Look up. Oh, there are some boulders in the ceiling that look like they're about to fall. Wait, I got an idea. Based on the cave structure and my weight and speed, if I just... Okay. I've got this.
Yes, just like I calculated. That got some of them, but there's still a few more to deal with. There aren't any more rocks we can use in the ceiling. Is there something else we can do? Can I just do that? <laughs> All right, then. Work smarter, not harder. I mean, this is really savage of Zelda to do this. Whoa. Yes, yeah, that's the last of them. You're amazing, Zelda. Let's go tell Elder Sylve. Real impressive that you two handled those Lazalfos. Gotta admit, I wanted to be the one to do it, but I suppose we can all go home at least. Wait, Elder Sylve, before you go, can I ask you something? Do you know about the shortcut that leads to the crater? Oh yes, the shortcut. Now, where was it? Hmm, can't recall a thing, I'm afraid. I see, well, thank you anyway. I want to say, Dustin, I'm real impressed with how you're doing so far. I had some concerns about how you take to being chief, but you're proving me wrong. Hmm. Oh, and Gull might remember that crater shortcut you're after. Anyhow, if you'll excuse us. Oh. They left just like that? Uh. I really thought he'd know, but maybe I'm not cut out for this like Dad was. What do you mean? Uh. Well, I... My father was strong, dependable, everyone respected him. But Darson, you helped defeat those monsters. Uh. Only because I had my dad slay. I can make calculations, but I don't have the skills to really unite people like he could. Uh. I told him I could do this, but I'm scared I was lying to both of us. Uh. Sorry for making you listen to all this. Hi. Let's head to Rock Rose Quarry. Hopefully Elder Gold is safe and sound. Mm. What would dad do? Which motto is the best at a time like this. Darson's fretting again. There seems to be a theme that they've followed in most recent Zelda games is like the Goron that you meet is always cowardly or just uncertain on themselves. They did it in Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, and now in this one too. See, now that I know I can do that, have a hot lava bath. <laughs> so brutal. They're like, screaming, oh dear god, no! No, wait, why would you... Why would you make it disappear? I need to go back.
tired. Uh, Hungry. Uh, Sorry I'm late, Zelda. I got all lost in my head again. Uh, oh, what's going on over here? Uh, Dustin, is that you? Uh, yes, Zelda Gull. Glad to see you're here after all. Oh, I was here all right. I was about to snack on some rock roast deep in the quarry when... Whoosh, a rift opened. We got out of there as fast as we could. But now we're too tuckered to move and I didn't even get my roast. I'm starving. A rift in the quarry? So it's not safe here either. Oh no, what if it starts spreading? Would we be able to escape in time? Hmm. If they're too tired in the rift. Rock roast. Dangerous, but... Hmm. Well, whatever else happens, these folks need some rock roast. Let's see, the path is... This way! Yeah, I'm just gonna... Get going. Ah, Zelda. This is rock roast, one of our favorite foods. This will put some rock in the walk of any Goron. We gotta deliver some to Elder Gull and the others. They all better after this. They'll be all better after this. Choose stuff before you do stuff. Okay. They all look the same to me. Zelda, maybe you could help him carry some. What happens if you consume something that's an echo in terms of food? Like, does it nourish you? I I really don't like how it targets enemies first instead of the thing that you're directly facing. That succulent aroma. You brought me rock roast? Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was delicious. Thank you so much. I hope you'll bring some for the others too. Does it work? Oh, it does. I know that smell. You brought me rock roast? Hang on, this isn't a rock race. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my god. This is even this is even better. This is even better than the um Well I guess the pigs actually move. But the fact that those things only cost one now. Oh, he brought it too. Get your hands moving and your head will follow. Zelda, how'd you carry that over here so fast? I smell rock roast. It's rock roast. Thank you. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Ugh, that was delish. I'm raring to go. Thanks a ton. Ugh. Now that you're feeling better, Elder Gull, can I ask you a quick question? We need to find the shortcut that leads to the crater. Or was that? Oh, the shortcut. Let me think. Hmm. You know, I can't remember for the life of me. Oh, I see. Anyways, thanks for coming to our rescue. You know, I wasn't too sure about the leadership shakeup, but you're doing great. See you around. 
there they go. Uh, I really hoped he'd know. But things don't always turn out the way you'd like. Hmm. You okay, Dawson? Uh, yeah. I appreciate Elder Girl's kind words, but I don't know if I agree with him. What do you mean? Uh, My father was great at this, but since I've been chief, it's been nothing but chaos. I'm a worry wart. And I've only ever been good at studying. I'd be useless without my slate. I'll never be a great chief like my father. Uh. But I don't want to give up. I'm not going to be the kind of chief my father was. And that's okay. Because I'm not him. I'm me. And I will do everything I can to help everybody. After everything that's happened, it's okay to do things my way as chief. Zelda, let's head back to Goron City and speak with the elders again. I've got a hunch talking more with Gull or Sylv might jog their memories. Meet you there. He seems like he's doing better. I didn't even go to the... Ugh, fine. Let's just see. Huh? So you don't know where the shortcut is either? Nope, not a clue. I really thought you would have remembered. Now what? If I don't remember, I don't remember. What else do you want me to say? Uh. Elder Gull, Elder Sylv, there's something I'd like to ask you both. What exactly is the shortcut to the crater. Ah. It's a path used by the Goron chiefs back in the day. Only after going through its trials and cleansing in the crater could a Goron become chief. The custom faded long before our time, though. Hmm. Purify themselves in the crater to take on the title of chief. Hmm. So the shortcut is related to the chiefs. But that's me now, isn't it? Or dad. Hmm. Oh, Dustin, your father, that's it, I remember now. Your father once said something about blocking off the path in my room. Hmm, come to think of it, I reckon I heard him say something like that too. First I've heard of it, let's go check it out. It's the old path from Ocarina. Like behind the chair. The throne. said something about a portrait and now he's gone. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it's a portrait. Wow, this room is such a mess. Someone must have tidied it up for me. Huh? See that behind me? It's a portrait of my dad. Doesn't he look impressive? <sighs> but dad made me promise I'd change his, this portrait one day. You'll have to hang one yourself when you're chief. So proud. So sure I'd grow up like him. I've left this up, but I did promise, so I have to do it eventually. Ah. But never mind that. For now, we got to find the entrance to the shortcut. Huh? <laughs> the portrait! Oops. <laughs> You know, this is just like one of my dad's mottos. A breakdown can lead to a breakthrough. But more important, I think you found the shortcut. Let's go. Mm. Looks like the path picks up over there. Now we've got to figure out how to get across. The best saying for a time like this is, uh, number 19, if you can't fly, borrow some wings. Never knew what Dad meant by that one. How can you borrow someone's wings? <laughs> okay, these things are pretty good.
Especially if you stack them one on top of another. How have they not hit? Anyway. Let's see if I can do this. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that was... That was great. That was amazing. You're brilliant. I don't think I can use that trick, but I'll find a way to catch up with you. Go on ahead without me. I'm so proud of that. <laughs> it's so good. Amazing. <laughs> Wait, what the... Did I do that or was that... Alex. Oh, you can learn this one. Hang on. I mean, that's neat and everything. Stupid analog stick made me face the other way. Yeah, good, yeah. Yeah, flick the flick the analog stick the other way. Nintendo controllers don't have drift issues. Hey, what happened? My rock. Probably shouldn't go there just yet. Hang on. What's over here? Yeah. 
<laughs> look at the screen and nod. Hey, Zelda! Ugh, finally managed to catch up. Uh-oh, there's a giant rock in the way. This path hasn't been used in a while. It probably fell at some point. Hmm. Leave this to me. Based on the size and type of stone, the angle I need to use it. Okay. Take this! Mm. It didn't work as well as I hoped, but the results still fit my calculations. Mm. Zelda, we haven't known each other for long, but this slate is like a map from my father. So the idea of not having it around anymore makes me pretty nervous. But with all we've done, I've realized there's times when carvings on the rock aren't enough. I think you've helped me figure things out. The words on that are valuable, but I can't be a great chief while I'm staring at a slate. To be a great chief, I have to keep my eyes up to see what works best for me. So let's try something different. Goron Chief Nugget's Wisdom of number 56. Ha! Ah! Get creative with what you've got. Your slate. Wasn't it really important to you? Uh. Yeah, but I'll be alright. Uh. I can still use the nuggets of wisdom my father left to help me do things my way. The Darston way. Uh. Besides, I've got all my father's mottos memorized by now. I... Sorry to keep you waiting on my big insight. The crater's just up ahead. It seems Darston's really made a breakthrough. It seems... It's nice to see you're more confident. Oh, are we... Okay, we're here. Hey, Gami. I think... I, I don't know if this is a dungeon or if it's a small one. So this is what you were searching for, huh? The last few missing Gorons must be in there. How can I help? This looks like the central rift in the area. All the little ones nearby are likely spreading from here. So if your friends were swallowed up by any of them, they should return after we mend this one. But Dust and only the two of us can go inside. You helped so much already. Please wait here. Ah, uh, alright. I wish I could do more, but... Princess Zelda, try. I know you can do this. If this is a small one, I'll do it. But a castle's gonna take like a good hour. <laughs> Which. I think I'm good for now. What is it? It doesn't look like it's a castle, so let's see. I know what it wants me to do. But I'm not doing it. Oh, what? It's not... Oh, no, there we go. What? Why was it being weird? Alright, let's just ignore it for now. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 
Ooh, this is bad. It, it still worked. <laughs> I dragged one into the lava and the other one died. Damn it, wrong way! <laughs> Don't go left. I aimed wrong. Oh, damn it. I didn't jump. I gotta get better at this. Can't aim it that way. Oh, not that. Uh oh. Yeah, it's not gonna work. if I could learn this as an echo. Okay, this is going to be like a YOLO move. Oh! <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. Um, I think I, I think I know what I actually have to do. Where are you? Yep. Do this the intended way. So we've arrived at the dungeon. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. Is this if it's this is anything like the last one, it could easily take like an hour. So I'm good for now. Alright, we'll uh pick this up next time. That was a nice little stretch of progress. I just went and got all the stuff that I didn't realize were smaller rifts, so... It's cool that the costs of a lot of them have come down now, so it, it's kind of fun. Just summoning multiple of the weaker ones, and sometimes even the stronger ones now, I can do two of them. Alright, anyway, if you were checking this out later as a VOD, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, if you want to support the VOD's channel, just give the video a like, it helps out a lot. We'll see you next time.